In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple logo. We use some common tools in Affinity Designer to help you become more familiar with them. Start by inserting a simple shape. Some of the attributes of the shape can be modified using the corner tool. You can also manually enter values for the corner tool. Now I'm going to select another shape and drop it over the top of the first one. You can hold the shift key to constrain the proportions of the shape as you resize it. With the move tool, you can adjust its position. And if you hold the shift key, you can select the other object. I'm going to align the two objects uh, on each other using the align button at the top, the arrange button. And I'm going to align horizontally based on the centers of both objects. Now, again, with both objects selected, holding the shift key, I'm going to subtract the gear shape from the box underneath it. Now this logo is going to need some text, so I'm going to use the artistic text tool to drop some text in directly underneath my shapes. Using the move tool, I can drag it to a larger size and position it, or I can enter a point value. That's a little too big. You can also change the font that you're using, using the font menu in the upper left corner. For text, you can resize it by using the Move tool, selecting the corner of the bounding box for the text, and holding the Option key to maintain the proportions. And again, I'm going to select my other object with the Shift key held. I'm going to align them based on their center points. I'm going to edit the paragraph information just to align that or to reposition the baseline of that text. Now let's adjust the color of the objects. Again, with the Move tool selected, I'm going to select my top shape. 
I'm going to click on styles and I think this would look good with one of the pre formatted styles they have specifically metal now this is filled with a gradient so I can use the gradient tool to position it exactly where I want it and to edit the attributes of the gradient including the angle and the size and the rotation I'm going to select the move tool again I'm going to click on my text and I'm going to adjust the colors with the color palette or color pane specifically the swatches pane and I can adjust the stroke color by clicking on the toggle arrow near the color chips and selecting a different color for that one. You'll notice the donut shaped chip represents the stroke and the filled chip represents the color, but the stroke isn't showing right now. So I'm going to switch to the stroke pane and we can adjust the thickness of the stroke. I'll just apply a stroke to the shape above. And there you go. If you have questions about this tutorial or suggestions for future tutorials, leave me a message in the comments below.